Hello, everybody. Happy Tuesday. We need to begin by thanking TS for the starting screen sub. Thank you very much, my friend. 57 months. That is incredible. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate you. Hi, TS. Hi, E9. Hi, Jem. Good to see you guys. I apologize for running a little bit late. Uh, similar to E9, I took an accidental nap. Well, I guess it wasn't an accidental nap. It was an intentional nap that ran longer than expected. <laughs> I finished work at four and I was just like so tired. I was like, okay, I'm going to go lie down till five. Then I'll get up and have dinner and get ready for stream. Um, the alarm didn't go off or I sleepingly turned it off, whatever the case was. I opened my eyes at 5.45 and I was like, shit. <laughs> so just had to quickly grab some dinner and get ready and whatnot. So here we are. Happens to the best of us. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure I'm not the first person on this planet of ours who's ever overslept a little bit, but uh, I am happy to say now that I'm nice and rested. I'm feeling a whole lot better and um, I'm ready to play some more Star Wars. Very excited. Um, if you guys have been around the past couple weeks, this is stream number five, I believe, of uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivors. So we're about 12 hours into the game, still early on, but enough into it now that we're sort of getting the swing of things. Uh, and when we left off last stream, we were actually on the planet of Jeddah, which is a very interesting planet. There's not a lot of people who live on the planet. It is very, um, it's very arid world. It's like covered in desert. And we are here because Seer is here. Seer has apparently joined a cult. If you were wondering where seer has been since the last game, she's, jo <laughs> she's joined a cult. Um, it's apparently a force worshiping cult. So as a Jedi, presumably she's sort of like the leader. Not sure. I guess we'll find out when we find her. The best part is, is that we've actually run across our old flame. Do you guys remember the hot goth girl from Dathomir that we met in the first Star Wars game? Cal and her kind of had a little thing. She left and went on her own sort of self-seeking adventure. Apparently Cal was very upset about it, but they have reunited. There's been a little flirty flirty going. And the very last thing that happened is they spent the night together in a cave after a big sandstorm whipped through. So a little, a little bounce a wow wow went down. And we'll be picking up tonight uh, right there where we left off with those two heading through Jeddah, heading towards Seer and the cultists. Hi, Tara. How are you? Happy Tuesday. <laughs> I hope you guys are doing fantastic. Uh, I saw some of you guys on Saturday for our Saturday stream of uh, Honkai Star Rail, which I am loving, by the way. Very glad I decided to uh, to check that game out. That's been a super fun addition to the stream, our, our weekend rotation, if you will. Uh, but it's the weekday, which means it's back to Star Wars. Um, we are playing Star Wars Jedi Survivor on PS5. I'm sure a lot of you guys heard about the sort of con... con I guess it was... Yeah, it was definitely controversy when the game launched. Uh, it was not well optimized for PC at all, apparently. So uh, I, I honestly... I'm really not sure if that is still the case. I'm not sure if they have fixed the game on PC. Hopefully they have, because the game's been out for a month now. So for all of you PC purchasers, I, I really hope that uh, that the game is fixed for you. But so far on PS5, we haven't had, uh, I mean, I'm loath to say this, I don't want to jinx myself, but we've had literally a, a perfect experience so far. I haven't had any issues whatsoever, so it's been, it's been good. Hi, Euro. How are you? Good evening, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Tara says, turns out I have moderate sleep apnea and should be getting a CPAP machine in like two-ish weeks. Well, good for you for getting that diagnosed. A friend of mine actually has one too, and he he has a CPAP machine. And uh, it, it, hopefully, uh, from what I've heard, once you get started with the CPAP machine and get that sleep apnea treated, your sleep should be so much more like restful. You know what I mean? Like I've heard people say nothing but good things. Like as soon as they've sort of been diagnosed, that issue has been identified that they find such improvement. So fingers crossed that that happens for you as well. Jem says, ironically, I had more issues with the game on PC after the first patch. Oh, that is ironic. Okay. Well, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> 
I'm doing well, thank you. Work has been super busy. I was in court on Friday, and I'm going to be in court again tomorrow. So it has been a, a busy week, a tiring week, hence why I probably passed out today after, after work. It's been sleepy, but it's been good. Other than that, I, I cannot complain. The weather here in Calgary has been fantastic. A nice warm spring weather, which is always helpful for the old mood when the sun, that big glowing orb is in the sky, kind of boosts the serotonin levels a little bit. <laughs> I can't imagine going to bed and waking up rested. What a dream. Yeah, I mean, honestly, may maybe I should get tested because I feel like most mornings I wake up, I'm still fucking tired too. Um, but maybe that's just a facet of my life. Who knows at this point? Hard to say. <laughs> Hard to say if that's sleep apnea or capitalism. <laughs> that's causing my eternal sleepiness. Could, could be either or. Uh, I hope you guys had a fantastic long weekend. I know my Merkin friends and my uh, tea-loving friends, both of you guys had a long weekend, right? So that's that's exciting. Hopefully, speaking of rest, you, you guys had a restful day off. We uh, we had ours last, last Monday, I think I told you guys that. We're, apparently we're offset for a week, which is interesting. I always wonder, like... Who is, like, the sort of the grand entity who decides these things? Like, hmm, Canadians are gonna have their holiday this day, but Americans are gonna have their holiday this way. You had a 5D weekend? Wow, I'm jelly, E9. That's amazing. 5-day weekend sounds fantastic. I mean, it can't hurt getting the sleep study done. They have pretty easy-to-use take-home test machine thingies. Maybe I will. Maybe I will, Tara. The weekend was good. Today's first day back to work kicked my ass, though. That's how it always works, man. Yeah, the, the first day back to work after either a long weekend or vacation or whatever, that day is more brutal than any other Monday. Because, like, you were just getting used to the good life. Like, oh, this is fantastic. So many days off. Wait a minute. Back to work. What is a weekend? Your five-day weekend was so boring, I can't even take that as a complaint, because I wish I had five days in a row that were boring. <laughs> because boring means you didn't have anything to do, which is like a... I can't even imagine that concept. There's always something to do. Always something. This adulting shit, guys. We... I don't know. We were fed false information when we were kids. Or I suppose our imaginations created false fantasies. Adulting is not all that it's cracked up to be. Like, the only benefit I have is that I can eat cake whenever I want. And then the negatives are like chores and work and 10 trillion things to do and other adulting responsibility. The list goes on. The being able to eat cake at any time of day, that benefit does not outweigh the negatives. I feel completely misled. <laughs> Whew. Anyway, that's why we hang out here and that's why we have good old video games, right? This is this is a safe space for us to rest, relax, decompress, play some fun video games, forget about the worries of the world for a little while, and just generally have a good time. So uh, I'm going to get the game uh, launched here, so just give me one second. We'll get started momentarily. Euro says, I have nine days in a row off next month, and not only am I worried I'm going to get bored halfway through, but I'm also not looking forward to the first day back. Look, all I can say is, is if you ever feel bored, just step back and think, at least I'm not at work. <laughs> at least you're bored sitting on your couch instead of bored sitting at your desk. That's, that's the only way I can put it, you know? <laughs> All right, switching scenes. Where are you? Oh, PS5. Ah, here we go. Continue where I left off. Yes, please. Oh, we gotta get our death counter back on screen as well. 
We're, we are at 97 deaths. Move this up here. I had it moved down uh, below when I was Tiffy Nuggy, but I think I like it a little better underneath my, my screen. Well, it's not perfectly centered, and that's going to drive me insane. Eh. How big is the number in Tears of the Kingdom? I honestly should have had a death counter for Tears of the Kingdom because I've died so many times. Holy crap. The game is fantastic, though. Hey, Karis, how are you? Hi, John. Welcome on in. You guys arrived at the perfect time. We are literally just loading up Star Wars here. Or Star Trek, sorry. Yes, Star Trek. <laughs> Uh, when we last left off, Cal is looking for his old friend Seer and has came to the planet of Jeddah. But the best part about coming to Jeddah is we met up with sexy goth girl from the first game. Her and Cal got a little will they won't they thing going on, a little flirting back and forth. And uh, she is leading us through the desert here. Nice. More stems. Definitely can't go wrong. Love that for us. Oh, beady little like flips and twists and twirls. Like, look at him go. I'm obsessed with him. He's so cute. Well, we survived our first storm together. Yes, we did. I'm glad we got to see each other again. How long are you staying on Jeddah? I don't know, but I am excited to see Greece. How is he these days? Not bad. He opened up a cantina. Hyloon Saloon. He named it after his great grandmother. Nothing's more important to Grace than family. <laughs> hey, Kala. Yep, yeah, we are at 97 deaths, so we're probably going to hit the big 100 tonight, I would have to imagine. So I'm glad you're here. We can celebrate the special occasion together. <laughs> How are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope everybody's doing fantastic. Welcome to Jedi Survivor. Welcome to the arid deserts of Jeddah. And say welcome back to BD. Hi, BD. Wait, how do I? Hey. Uh... There. <laughs> That's how you get him to do a little dance. Hey, buddy. Look at him spin. I'm over the moon today. I had a very successful date. Yas, John. Congrats, bud. Happy to hear that for you. Grace is obsessed with family. Is he related to Vin Diesel? <laughs> I could see Grace in a Fast and Furious movie, honestly. He would be the comedic relief. Are we going through here? Ah, there we go. I would die for BD. He's so cute. Oh my god. Look at his little dances! Hang on, wait! Cordova is a lot? Master Cordova. It's an honor. Did I miss something? Never thought I'd meet you in person. I thought he was dead. The honor is mine, Cal. Sears told me everything. You have demonstrated great bravery and wisdom in the face of overwhelming adversity. You chose well. <whistles> well, <laughs> I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> the Empire has claimed the ruins. We'll have to find another rendezvous point. Unfortunate. But at least the storm covered your tracks. Come, come, let me escort you inside. So for those of you guys wondering, Cordova is BD's old master, actually. He's a Jedi who we were following his trail in the first game. He left lots of hollows around for us to find. Cordova. I just assumed he was dead. Only faint traces of their passage. He left. Hang on, I just gonna need to pause so I can talk. Um, he left BD behind and he left all those hollows behind. I, it just seems like the actions of a dead guy, you know? I I had no idea he was alive. And apparently he's part of the cult, too? Interesting. Okay. 
I, I mean, Cal must have known he was alive because he wasn't surprised in the slightest when Cordova walked out that door, unlike me, who was like, what? So, okay. Cordova's alive. Noted. The unknown regions. Sorry to hear that. As it goes. Ultimately, that failure inspired me to seek out other Jedi survivors. That search led me back to my old apprentice. I see. That's why he's here. He also came looking for Seer. Coming, Cal. I'm right here. What do you want from me? You just led me into a dead end. Sir, please. I've seen a lot of playthroughs of this game and haven't seen anyone have a different reaction to yours. Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Oh, he wanted me to press the elevator. How have you been faring? That makes me feel better. That doesn't sound good. I've had a few scrapes, but I'm still breathing. And I'm glad for it. I heard some news about a Jedi terrorist on Coruscant not long ago. You were on Coruscant? I love how she just assumes I'm the terrorist. <laughs> I mean, is she wrong? No, but... Great, of course, we take all this time to walk here. Lurking to avoid spoilers, but I'm around. I like it here. I like having you here, Rory! Thank you for the 53 months. That is incredible, my incredible, my friend. No need to worry about the spoilers. Totally get it. Thank you for the lurk. Thank you for the resub. I'll see you soon. I'll be home soon, so we can hang out. It's gonna be, uh, it's gonna be fantastic. I was just saying, I can't believe we had to walk all the way across the desert in a literal sandstorm. If we had just waited until it cleared up, we could have hitched a ride with Grease. Although I suppose if we did that, we wouldn't have had our sexy cave moment with Goth Girl. So. Uh, actually, no, I'm happy we walked. <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. I like exploring. I'm coming. Oh, more elevators. All right. It's critical, of course, that our work remains secret. What work exactly? Mm, better to ask Seer yourself. Meanwhile, Marin and I will greet our new arrivals. So, how was the desert? Cold, stormy, and too many Imperials. Mm, not my preferred weather forecast. We just got a databank entry about Eno Cordova. Back from an unsuccessful journey to locate the Zepho, Eno Cordova has returned to his former apprentice's side, determined to aid her however he can. Yeah, I don't know. Like, I feel like they didn't make it clear in the first game that Cordova was still alive. Because I just assumed if he was still alive, we would have, like, reached out to him rather than following his hollow trail. But, hey, whatever. Okay, he's back. I'll take that information. I'll move on. But more common by the day. Where did you weather the storm? A cave past the old market. Our spammel friend showed us the way. You have a habit for making new friends wherever you go. A survival instinct, perhaps. Clearly, Marin and Cordova have met previously. Your reputation is growing. Was there fear in their voices? Quite a bit, yes. Good. How are you feeling? Better. That tea you brought me was wonderful. Oh yeah, they're pals apparently. She's bringing him tea. Okay, we need to go find Seer. It's probably going to be an awkward reunion from the sounds of it. The way Cal has spoken about it, I don't think they parted on good terms. We still don't know the full reason for why they split up, but I mean, Seer's in a cult now. <laughs> so, <laughs> they might have had something to do with it. Where is Seer? Ma'am, please! Where are you? Grease must be in the kitchen. We'll meet up with him later. Okay, she must be back this way. I guess the lift doesn't work from here. Or not. <laughs> okay, hang on. 
She's in that room I was just in. See her. What the heck? Okay. Oh, I gotta do a little puzzle to open the door. Whoa. Okay, that was kind of cool. Honestly, I'm not mad anymore because that was kind of fun. <laughs> All right. The archive. Just keep trying. Let's not let Brother Armias to break contact. Cal Kestis. Welcome to Jeddah. I knew the storm wouldn't deter you. We're rebuilding the temple archives. Yeah, we're trying. As long as this knowledge remains, the legacy of the Jedi survives. It's incredible. Mm -hmm. But something tells me there's more to this than just hollow books. Yes. We're a part of a network known as the Hidden Path. We provide safe passage and new identities to those who have been persecuted by the Empire. Hunted by the Empire, like... like Jedi survivors? Very few of us remain. But yes, and Force sensitives, and those who help them. Why didn't you tell me? <laughs> you never asked. Besides, I hear you've been busy making yourself the Empire's most wanted. I wanted to prove to the galaxy that the Empire is an invulnerable. That you can't resist. That you have to fight if things are gonna get better. But then they just listen to the propaganda and they pretend they're free anyways. Hmm. Yeah. You chose a hard path. And it hasn't made a difference. Well, while the Empire's trained its eyes on you, we've been able to build the network. Find allies, and save lives. When you left, I thought you'd just given up. I was wrong. Cal, you were just a child when they sent you off to war. You know, there was a time when I remember that the Jedi were more than just Weapons. But. Aye, ice. We both have our roles to play in this struggle. But that's why I'm here. Seer. Well, you get a load of this. Hey, Seer. You can't say it ain't short of personality. <laughs> but kind of creepy, though. <laughs> well, it's good to see you two agree. <laughs> <laughs> well, hello, uh, BD. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> So, how was your time in the desert? The storm covered our tracks, but the Empire destroyed one of your speeders. It's a small price to pay for everybody's safe arrival. And who's this? This is Bodokuna. He is a friend. It's so nice to finally meet you. Uh, this hunk of trouble! <laughs> hey! We're all together! <laughs> yes. Now... What brings you all to Jeddah? We're searching for a lost planet. Tantalor, you ever heard of it? It's on the other side of a deadly nebula called the Kobo Abyss. Well, our archives are far from complete, but I'm sure Master Cordova's up to the task. With pleasure. The trouble is, we're not the only ones looking for this place. I knew this was sounding too easy. The guy's name is Dagon Gera. He was a Jedi. Now he leads a band of raiders on the Outer Rim. There's an old temple there. Dagon intends to reclaim it. A Jedi temple out of the reach of the Empire could mean that there's information there that we don't have in the archive. I believe I have something. <laughs> oh, you're too kind, BD. <laughs> I'll start with the bad news. Oh, boy. 
This guy knows his audience. <laughs> I found no information related to crossing the Kobo Abyss. However, I found two mentions of this Dagon Gera. He had a retreat on Kobo. The records show him frequently visiting a laboratory on its moon. Okay, we'll check him out. If you find anything, bring it to me. I am happy to assist further. Thank you. Both of you. You're welcome, Cal. I hope you find what you're searching for. May the Force be with you. And with you. All right. Trophy popped. We have now, uh, we have two new objectives. We can go to the moon so you're not or to us. Kobo. All right, so Seer reminds Cal that his efforts fighting all these years haven't been for nothing. Cal learns that the Hidden Path, an organization that protects Force sensitives from the Inquisitorious. Seer and Marin wonder whether Tantalor could serve not only Cal and his family, but Hidden Path refugees as well. I apologize, I don't like talking during the uh, the cutscenes, so I just want to say hi again to Ice. Welcome on in. <laughs> and uh, so that's so that's interesting. Seer is... Uh, this place isn't as culty as I thought it would be. Um, when we first heard about this cult, I was like, oh shit, you know, blood sacrifices and whatnot. But it seems like it's basically just like an underground spy network, a, a rebel group supporting force sensitives. Ice Dragon 920 has just tipped $10. Hey! Tip Talara hoodie is like a warm hug. Can recommend. Oh my gosh, Ice! Thank you so much for the tip. I appreciate that very much. Are you wearing a Talara hoodie right now? Oh my gosh, Ice, take some pictures and I will make you our official model for the brand. <laughs> That's amazing. Thank you for the tip, my friend. Thank you for the plug. If you want to get your own Talara hoodie, well, there's the link. <laughs> um, so it looks like the whole reason that the band broke up was simply just different priorities. Cal wanted to keep fighting the Empire. Um, Grease wanted to retire. Seer wanted to take more of an underground, less fighting, more helping role. And Marin just wanted to go explore herself and explore the galaxy. So it seems it was just a differing interests that led to the group. Oh my god, Ice! Holy crap! First the tip, now the resub. You are too kind to me, my friend. Thank you so much for the 11 months. I appreciate you very much. I appreciate you as much as I appreciate BD, who always keeps the, group, the crew together like glue. <laughs> so Sierra, uh, like I said, doesn't seem as culty as I thought. Um, she does have lots of new tattoos, though. I can't lie, the the shaved head tattoos, Seer, I like her. She looks, she looks badass. She's aged well, same as Cal. I feel like everybody just looks better than they did in the first game. Even, uh, Cordova, because, well, I thought he was dead after the first game. So, uh, so now we have our objective. We're gonna work together with the old team to learn more about this hidden Jedi world, and it may end up serving all of our interests, so... This was a good reunion. I cannot. Um, so I guess for now, actually, to come back in here, if we go journey. There are two locations to research Tantalor. Dagon's Retreat back on Kobo or a laboratory on its shattered moon. So we have two objectives right now. We can kind of choose which one we want to go to. Um, we will do that momentarily. I want to look around here a bit more first. Yeah, he's not a rotting corpse, so big improvement. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. This is like the world's biggest Google database, apparently. This is pretty cool. I can't lie, rebuilding these archives is pretty cool. These are the actual cultists, I guess. See, this is the getup I was more expecting from Seer. Um, but okay. I guess every cult needs to have its foot soldiers. Cordova, can we can we talk? I'm still court sign up kind of blown away that you're alive. Ah, Cal. I was hoping we could speak about something. Yeah, sure. There is a site, quite an ancient one at that, in the northern desert. I visited it during my early days on Jeddah, before the Empire's presence grew. What kind of site? 
one built by those who revered Force users. We know little about them, but I found the experience quite fascinating. Perhaps you will too. I'll check it out. I do like a good side quest. All right, Cordova, thank you. Oh my god, Ice, were you in commercial this whole time? I'm so sorry, you missed everything I said. I said thank you very much for the tip. I asked if you were actually wearing a Talara hoodie right now, and then recommended that you become the model for the brand, then use that to plug my own merch. <laughs> <laughs> and then I said you were incredibly kind with the resub as well. Thank you. Thank you so much, my friend. I apologize you were sent to commercial purgatory. Fucking Twitch. You, you know how it is. I've said it once. I've said it a million times. If I could somehow just have a commercial free stream, I would. But seer. <laughs> seer. I was going to say seer imposes commercials. Uh, I meant to say Twitch, but perhaps it's actually seer. The mastermind behind it all. Are dad bods, even though they have no kids, a good model? Absolutely. Absolutely. Dad bods are in right now. <laughs> we love all bodies around here, especially if they're in a Talara hoodie. Those are our favorite type of bodies, actually. Cordova said he found you while he was seeking other Jedi survivors. Yes. Hard to believe that fate brought us together we once again after all this time. My chat. Could have used that luck when we About? were hunting for the holocron. Um, so Ice has a Talara hoodie, and I said he could be uh, the model for the brand, and he asked if dad bods were a good model, and I said yes, all bodies are beautiful, especially if they're wearing Talara hoodies. <laughs> Atlanta likes that, she had to pop in and see what's happening. Good on, Greasy. Glad you didn't have to fly through that storm. So, how's it feel to be piloting the Mantis again? Like being home. Then why the long face? Nah, it's been too long. My pilot instincts are all off. I know how hard it is trying to relearn skills you put to the side. I guess so, huh? Still, I regret ever walking away from the Mantis. Keep thinking I'm gonna slip up. You walked away when you needed to. I know you'll pick it back up in no time. Okay, okay. You're a good friend, Cal. Thanks, Grease. How are you doing, uh, Bo? This is a lot. You're certainly suddenly surrounded by Jedi and a secret cult base. Must be a lot for you. Uh, what are you thinking? So where are we headed first? Back to Kobo or its moon? Uh, oh crap! I have to make a decision right now. Um, I think we should check out the High Republic settlement first. I press. Yeah, let's scope it out. <laughs> Dagenger was bound to leave something behind. I gotta be honest, I, I wasn't- I didn't even select that purposefully. I pressed the button by accident, so apparently we are going to Kobo first. Decision made. Yeah, so we actually haven't encountered uh, a combat situation yet, hence why the death counter has not gone up. It's been a lot of cutscenes to start off today's stream. Um, what I w do want to do, however, is... Um, I want to go to that thing that Cordova told us about. Rumors. Explore the ruins in the northern desert. This, that's what I want to do. So, I guess we can leave north through this exit before we actually go back to Kobo and start investigating things related to Tantalor. I would like to look around uh, Jedi a little bit and see what Master Cordova is pointing us in the direction of. First, we've got an echo. It's so good to see you, Meryn. What brings you to Jeddah? I came across a group during my travels. Their goal is to hide Force sensitives from the Empire. Have you ever heard of the Hidden Path? Oh, so it's Meryn who got Seer involved with the Hidden Path. Hello, is this a shop? Hail, Jedi Knight. I am called Sister Task. I'm Cal. Word of your arrival has spread quickly, noble one. Master Junda holds you in high esteem. Thanks. Seer and I have been through a lot together. Jeddah is brimming with lost artifacts related to your order, among other traditions. Should you happen upon any scrolls or other objects of interest, I would gladly exchange some of the treasures I've unearthed for them. I'll let you know if I find anything. We are in your debt, noble one. Cool. 
Jen says, I'm not 100% sure, but I doubt that you're locked into that choice you made. Maybe you should try and do the other one first just to confuse Bode. I like that idea. Yes, that's officially what we're doing. We're actually going to go to the moon first. So Bode can just be like, what? Care to gaze upon the sacred treasure? All right, so we actually do have some Jetta scrolls. We can trade them in for lightsaber parts and paints. Cool. I like the rebel paint colors. We should buy those. This will be useful. And I liked the Jetta paint colors too because of that pink. Done. The wisdom you've recovered is a boon to us all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wisdom, 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 schmizdom. I'm just here for the pretty paint colors. Let's be real. But thanks. <laughs> All right, another elevator. So it looks like the cultists are in fact pretty culty, uh, but Seer is more so just using their resources and furtherance of her own goals rather than going all culty with them. These door locks are so interesting. I actually think they're pretty cool. Like you just shoot that marble through that tube and bam, door open. This must lead back out into the desert, I guess. All right, are we heading in the right direction? Yes, okay. So we just need to head north. Oh! <laughs> Remember how earlier I was like, knock on wood, but so far we haven't had a single issue with Star Wars on PS5. The performance has been perfect. Yes, I jinxed myself. Sorry about that, guys. <laughs> Let's load back in. I was trying to say we're going to head north through the desert to find the ruins that Cordova told us about, but the game had other plans, apparently. Let's restart here. This is why you never stay say stuff like that out loud, right? I have regrets. <laughs> Look what I did. I jinxed myself. All right. The question is, when was my last auto save? Do you think? Can't have been that far ago. We were just at a meditation point, so I doubt we were too far back. Oh yeah, right at the meditation point. Okay, so we'll need to trade in our scrolls again and grab that echo. But other than that, we're good. It's so good to see you, Marin. What brings you to Jeddah? I came across a group during my travels. Their goal is to hide force sensitives from the Empire. Have you ever heard of the hidden path? Can't hurt to take a look, right? Okay, I had this one. That would naturally attract you. And this one. I'll grab this one. That okay, bye. Was fated for you. I know it was fated. Feels like I've even been here before. <laughs> Push the marble! Now, let's try one more time to exit here and head out into the desert. Fingers crossed! Please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash, please don't crash! Yay! Didn't crash! Don't you look at that? It's quite nice. Quite dry. But nice. Alright, how are we going to get down without breaking our feet? <laughs> That's question number one. Uh, literally, how do we get down? <laughs> Cal didn't even hit the ground and he was dead. Maybe I can't go this way? Now, please, you're a Jedi. 
I have no idea where Marin just appeared from and or went to. Apparently, Marin will remain in the desert, whatever that even means. Um, <laughs> perhaps this is just a lookout point? This is so weird. Okay, there's maybe, maybe we need to go a different way. Look where she was, there's steps? What? I can't tell if you're fucking with me or not. I do not see any steps. Let's try this. Oh, it looked like it in the ridges. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah, it's very... I must have to go this way. It's very weird. The way is sealed, Outlander. What? Why? I'm sorry, Jedi. The gate must remain closed. Imperial patrols have been spotted in the region. I understand. No, I don't understand. Ma'am, please! <laughs> I want to go outside. They are magic steps. You just have to believe they are there. Oh, wait. Can I get up this way? <gasps> speeder bike? Old Aerotech speeder bikes. I want. Never got to ride one. So let's do it now. God damn it, Cal. Hmm. Oh. New parts for BD. That was a very dramatic opening. <laughs> Holy crap. Alright, um... No, I mean, that's it, I guess. I guess we can't go out until the Imperial patrols are gone, which presumably, I suppose, is later on in the game. Oh well, we tried. Let's go back the way we came, I guess. I guess it- was it not that way, the way we came? <laughs> I guess not. None of these doors will open for me. What the heck? I thought being a Jedi was supposed to be fun. Not every locked door is a locked door, except for all of these ones. <laughs> Which are very freaking locked. Man, please! I want to go in the desert! There's another echo, at least. You're the traveler. Have you found any systems outside the Empire's reach? Not that I have come across. There are countless ruins scattered across the high desert. One of them could be a perfect safe house for the path. All right, so clearly we can't do any exploration around here for right now, which means we need to go continue our mission, I suppose. And we're totally going to do the opposite of what we told Bode. I think that's a great suggestion from Jim, which means we are headed to Kobo's moon, which apparently has a research facility. Oh, here's Marin again. Hi. Uh, Tiff is experiencing the biggest enemy of all D&D adventuring parties, locked doors. And Cal doesn't even have a lockpick. It's rude. He has a lightsaber, which I would argue is the world's best lockpick, but he doesn't see it that way, it seems. I've had this since I started freelancing. It's gotten me out of some bad situations, and I figured it might do the same for you. What? Am I getting a gun? It's Marin, right? Well, I could get another one if you think you might want it. No need. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're good. Okay. Jedi with a gun. Let's go. Using blasters. You once said it wasn't the weapon that makes you a Jedi. <laughs> It's us against the galaxy, Cal. We've got to use every advantage we can find against the Empire. Thanks, Bo. Now, I 
show you how to use it. Has a Jedi ever used a gun before? Like, I can't remember in any of the movies or shows a, a Jedi ever using a gun. We now have a blaster stance. Blaster stance allows for ranged attacks and upgradable blaster bolts. Oh, I think this is going to be sick. There's been so many times in combat where I'm like, I wish I had a ranged attack. This this might be the play. A real won't stay still. Gotta start somewhere. Leave me alone, Marin. Breast triangle to fire your pistol when blaster stance is equipped. There you go. Not bad, Jedi. Oh, that's true. Luke Luke did use a blaster. No, you're right. I mean, he didn't use one with a lightsaber like this, but he did use a blaster multiple times. Concentrate and I do not work for Seer. Right. My mistake. Who does? I'm loving this dialogue in the background. Impressive. I think you got it, Cal. Thanks. Sick. Okay. I want to put blaster stance. So it has low power, but more speed and range, obviously. Way more range. So we'll go blaster stance and double bladed stance. All right, well that's fun. Love that for us. Thanks, man. This is a smart operation Sears put together. Why do you say that? All this rock? Natural shielding against sensors. Yeah, and if anyone makes it past all that, the anchorites have plenty of hollow books to throw at them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can see how Sears managed to evade the Empire for so long. She makes her own luck, keeping so much of her power held back to achieve a larger goal. Yeah. There's definitely more to her than meets the eye. You two have that in common. Did you like my blastin', Marin? It's nice seeing you again, Marin. You too, Cal. Good luck. Perhaps I will still be here when you return. Hope so. Boop, boop, boop. All right, guess we're taking our new blaster and uh, heading out of here. All right, so next. Next, we are going to go to the Shattered Moon. Shattered Moon, <laughs> no sweat. Grease, how did you get here and in that Maybe seat so fast? So bad after. Holy crap, that's impressive. Oh, weirdos. <laughs> that was before Seer told me they're helping those poor refugees hide from the Empire. That right? Yeah, working with the group called the Hidden Path. Real hush-hush stuff, so keep it in the family. Understood. Grease is all Let's about the it. family. Yeah, it really was. So, Cordova thinks we'll find out how to cross the abyss by tracking down Dagon's old haunts? That's right. You know anything about this laboratory on the moon, Grease? What am I, a tour guide? I'm a busy Latero. No time to visit broken moons. First Jetta, now this. Oh, believe me, moons are nothing but trouble. Jetta's a moon. I have no idea. Me neither. The more you know. All right, Cal, get up here. Hey, Marin, I'm now a space cowboy samurai. Brownie points, maybe? <laughs> I'm hoping. I grew a beard. I've got a gun. I'm getting more American by the moment. Also, Yaya de la Vega. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the Shattered Moon of Kobo. Just a smidge rusty. You? A little restless, but we'll be fine. Oh, listen to you, Mr. Optimistic. Hmm. Hey, you want to do me a favor? Cut it out. You're giving me a stomach ache. You sure it's how you're cooking? <laughs> what was that? We're almost there. Locals say the moon's haunted. Great. Love that for us. We gotta find the mullet. Tori said if I equip Cal with the mullet, I will no longer be her sister, so we'd have to weigh that. 
You okay? Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm just delighted you brought the manus to another haunted moon. It won't be long. Just gotta look for that laboratory Cordova found in the archive database. Sure. Take your time. Is Bode coming with us? Perhaps. Hi, Bode. Whoa. What is this, like, ray? That's shooting down onto Kobo. Also, whoa. This is cool. Wasn't he just asking about the moon and now he suddenly knows local superstitions evolving it? <laughs> That's a great point. That's a great point. Bode, can you be trusted? They couldn't have put this laboratory in a sunnier place? No kidding. But if we find something here that'll help us navigate the Kobo Abyss, so be it. The way Grease tells it, the Abyss is a ship graveyard. And now we're on a lunar graveyard. A lot of graveyards. A lot of graveyards. <laughs> hey, TS, this is the moon of Kobo. Apparently, remember that one-armed Jedi that we woke up out of the Bacta tank? Apparently he had a secret research lab here uh, on the moon. So we are here to see what information we can gather. I know what information I want to gather is what this big-ass beam is. Hopefully we'll find some info on that. But very cool to be sort of out in open space. Reminds me of the forest array, just on a much grander scale. Boop! Yeah, this is quite quite the setup here on the moon. This is a full-ass laboratory. I don't know if anybody's been here since the High Republic era, but I guess we'll find out. Wait a minute. Who are you? The station is closed. They're here. Who's here? We've been attacked. Evacuation protocols in order. Oh, okay, good. Wonder who uh, the attackers are. Massive facility on the moon that the bad guy fled to. Reminds me of Iron Sky. I've been visiting a lab on this moon. It says Cree written all over it. Automated forge. Got a memory over here, or an echo. They really think there's something past the abyss. Centauri Cree does. I suppose that's enough for the council. Oh, so th I think this was actually Cree's lab. Okay, so not that way. Kree being the other Jedi we've seen in the flashbacks, the one who has made a lot of Jedi trials on Kobo that we found. It appears that her and Dagon had some sort of relationship. They seemed a little flirty with each other, so I think he was actually here visiting her. And this lab, perhaps, is the lab they were using to research ways to get to... After all this time. ...get through yeah, the abyss. We need to find that lab. You all, you may remember when you kind of released evil upon the galaxy back at the forest array. There was also a big beam shot from there to the moon. Oh, so that, okay, okay. I, I forgot about that, Jim. So that's the connection here. What's the beam for? I, I don't know, but ow. That's the connection. Let's stop. Have a little rest. Let's see if there's any skills we should pick up. We have one skill point right now. Block meter refills faster. Greater reflexes. Yeah. Like that. I, I personally, so far, have been enjoying picking up more of the survival passive type skills. Because basically, the more longer I can stay alive for, the better chance I have of killing whatever I'm fighting. So rather than fancy new moves, which don't get me wrong, we will pick those up eventually. I do like those survival passives. Hi. Sectors five through nine and operable. Sectors one through four operational. Facility status activated. Array status deactivated. Okay. Gotta be honest. None of that means very much to me, but. We'll find out. What 
What's the reading? Not holding. We'll need to reinforce the chamber again. There are lots of scientists here in this place. This wasn't a small-scale operation by the looks of it. Ah! Jesus! What the fuck? That dude scared the shit out of me. <laughs> Wow. All right. Good to know the raiders are here. All right. All right. Let's look. Great. Euro says, I'm a big fan of survival passive skills in any game that lets me pick them. I usually forget to use other skills anyways. I'm the same way. I kind of get overwhelmed if I have too many skills. I like to stick to basics, and I really like staying alive, so. Hey, Power. What's up? <laughs> Why are you welcoming the raiders? No! What? <laughs> that death is Power's fall. I'll just have you all know. This is the first death of the stream tonight. Death number 98. Two away from three triple digits. <laughs> Shout out, Bedlam Raiders. <laughs> Welcome, Raiders. I like that we have five stims now, too. Holy crap. Give me, give me more. I love how Cal's picked up a new skill and it's just gun. <laughs> yeah, the new stance is pretty cool. Our friend Bode gave us this pistol and we now have a new combat stance, which I still need to get used to a little bit. It's nice having some range, for sure. Your mom's a sorry sight. Oh, that's death number 100! Yes! Congratulations, everybody. Thank you for sitting here through 100 of my deaths. Cheers to you. Cheers to 100 more. <laughs> wow, he didn't care for you bringing his mom into it. No, he did not. <laughs> it was at that moment that Cal realized he had made a mistake. The only issue, don't get me wrong, I really like having the range, but you don't do as much damage in this stance. Not nearly as much as you do in the double-bladed stance. So for me, I'm really gonna have to sort of weigh the two options together. No need to continue stream, we've hit 100. Adios, everybody. <laughs> we did what we came here to do. Our victory cannot be stopped. Die. Holy. Fight. Help me, BD. Why are these random raiders kicking my ass? Please, I'm a Jedi. <laughs> God damn it. Wow. All right. We're fine. We're fine. Get it together. I gotta shake the rust off. This is our first fights of the night. Give you that. Nasty. 
she just call me nasty? Why does she sound like a country bumpkin? Too bad. My turn. Oh. Man, please go back to your farm. <laughs> I'm feeling weak, BD. Whoa, Cal with the acrobatics. Let's go. We've used every single stim about two seconds from the meditation points. Not ideal. But it's fine. Yes! We did it. Screw you, Raiders. That's not opening. Just leads me back in here. You see a shiny over here, though. Woohoo! What is? Ooh, sick! Maximum health increase. That's a good kind of collectible. Ah, shit. Good thing we have maximum health increase. We're gonna need it. <laughs> I fucked that up! The acrobatics are key. It's the, why Jedi are so badass. They're like flies, but with magic and lasers. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah, the acrobatics are so key. Cal was not this acrobatic in the first game. I was so impressed by him. Oh, uh, bye! Oh, Jesus! What the fuck? <laughs> I was distracted! That was not fair! What the heck? That maintenance droid totally distracted me. This dude was hiding in the corner. So they clearly knew I was coming because they were in very strategic ambush positions. Distraction level 100. Yeah. Me too. These droids are totally all gonna come to life when I hit a button here or something. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah. They're here. Oh, God. There's so many of them. That's why we use the double blade! Woo! Oh, my God. I'm taking down so many at a time. That was good up until, you know, the last part, but it was it was fun till then. <laughs> yes, we've officially crossed over 100 deaths. That was death number 102. Making our way through this haunted haunted space station. Active to me. It was good until it wasn't. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Couldn't put it better myself. Here we go. I'll break you. No sad. Try again. Kick me again. Sure, if you ask politely. I absolutely will. Oh man. Not a massive fan of the double blade, but can't deny it does one hell of a job against large groups. Yeah, I personally really liked the double blade, but I don't think it's what we need for the fight against this guy. At the same time, I'm not sure that this stance is either, though, which is the unfortunate part. Let's see, maybe we can get more used to it, you know? Oh, fuck 
me. Yeah, I gotta be honest, as much as when they first gave me that pistol, I was like, oh yeah, this is fucking sick. I don't know how much I actually love it. I think I've got to switch out. I think here just the classic single lightsaber will come in handy. And that's the one I've been using in most of the boss fights. I find that the single stance is just perfect for one-on-one. -on -one. Double blade okay. is good for multiple go. enemies. Yeah, there's something about the double blade to me that I just think is fucking cool. But obviously each stance has its pros and cons. That's why there's different stances in the first place. It wouldn't make sense to have them if they were all the same. So let's let's try the single one here. There we go. I feel like the gun is very situational. Yeah, I think you're probably right. In areas where there's like a lot of ranged enemies, which does happen a lot, it'll probably really come in handy. Other than that, it's it's actually pretty weak, so. There we go. Double blade versus the multi-enemies still works out good, and now we'll have the whole squad up here to deal with. Hello, please come to life. Hi. Ah! I like my plan of getting back here so they can't surround me as much. Slicing and dicing! This is actually awesome, just carving a path through these guys with my double-bladed lightsaber. It feels pretty badass. Whew. Now that was some Jedi shit. That was some Jedi shit. One Jedi versus a whole room of people and droids. We come out on top. What do you got there, BD? Let's check it out. Droid recharging station. We're locked out. Whoa. Quite the view. I like it. Hello. Where's the laboratory? The laboratory is off limits. The laboratory is inaccessible. You're okay. Find somewhere to hide. I don't have access. I tried to tell them. Please, leave me be. The raiders really did a number on these droids. Oh, did I accidentally murder an innocent maintenance droid? I bet Z can get the data off this disk. Look, there was a lot of droids. That was... I'm, I've got to blame them for that one. I get caught up in the... In the madness. I mean, I gotta be honest, I didn't even realize I killed him, so... <laughs> not sure if that exonerates me or not, but... I'll make the argument. Weapon materials. Nice. And this should be a shortcut, I think? Yeah. I love me a good shortcut. So I guess after, uh... We released... One arm Joe from the back to tank. He immediately grabbed his raider friends and we're like, okay, Cal's probably gonna come for me. Head to these key locations and fuck him up. I cannot believe we let the guy out of the tank. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Reprogrammed Magna Guard. Oh god. Oh, 
LPD. Ah, see, he has a double move that I keep... I dodge his first move and then try to go in for a counterattack, and then he hits me with his double move, and I keep falling for it. Which is totally my fault. All right, we're learning. So I de-equipped my gun. You can only have two stances at once. And I de-equipped the, the gun stance just to have the classic signal blade again. So if we're having trouble, perhaps we'll go back to the gun stance. But you can only have two stances at a time, which makes it a bit strategic which ones you choose. Now, where is the... <gasps> I thought it was like diamonds! What? Oh, why did you scare me? I did not! Sorry. I'm sorry, guys. I scared the life out of myself. She was asleep on the couch and she's like. There was a dude hiding in the corner, and I passed him like 10 times, and he jumped out on the 11th try and scared the crap out of me. He stole us all. It was a family jump scare. A family jump scare! Oh, jump scare wow i'm so sorry everybody i'm sorry to the dogs and humans and cats all listening to the stream so uh, that's my bad i cannot believe he scared me so bad that's uh wow okay it's a little embarrassing on the plus side no where is this shortcut that i'm trying to take i don't even know where i'm going this way. No? Where the fuck is my shortcut? The next room. God, I can never make sense of these fucking maps. Well... Whether this is the way to the shortcut or not. I haven't actually been over here before. Yay, loot! <laughs> Beast. Thank you for the clip. Yeah, I, I actually put a limiter on my mic so that I wouldn't blow your eardrums out in times like this. So I'm, I'm very glad to know that it does indeed work. <laughs> it's your eardrums are safe. From my absolute terror. You're welcome. No, I was trying to rest there. Like, am I completely oblivious? Where is that shortcut that I unlocked? I'm so confused. I thought the whole point would be so that I don't have to fight that dude anymore. Maybe I still have to fight him every time. Not gonna scare me this time, motherfucker! Hey now! Hey now! This is what dreams are made! This is what dreams are made of. I got somewhere I belong. I've got somebody to love. All right, I need to get back into the game. Where did 
Ha! <laughs> Cut his arm off. Nice. Oh, the shortcut's right here. Okay. I spent all that time trying to find it, but I, I found it. It ba you still have to fight these guys, but it basically just stops you from having to fight that big room full of guys. Alright. Well, at least that's mystery solved. Now we'll go try to fight that battle droid again. I am back. Took me a while. I know now about the double dodge, so hopefully that'll come in handy. Nice! Oh my god, he doesn't have a head, but he's still fighting! Holy shit! Okay. Whew. He wasn't fighting for long, but he sure fought till the very end. Yeah, that was pretty cool. A Magna Guard. Created by Holowan Mechanicals, the IG-100 Magna Guards were some were some of the most proficient battle droids in the Separatist army. Primarily used to defend high-ranking Separatist leaders, their Electro staffs were capable of holding their own against Jedi lightsabers. Cool. Well, he's down. Need to open this. Get some loot. Thanks, bud. New emitter for my lightsaber. All the sketchy steam to evaporate. that steam off. Grievous had two of those guys on him at all times. Oh, yeah! See, he looked familiar to me when I was fighting him. But now that you say that, I can picture picture them standing behind Grievous now that you say that. Yes. That's where I recognize them from. Cal, hurry! You're gonna get zapped! Whew. That was way too close. Oh, shit! Okay, there we go. Phew! Alright. Another shortcut? No, perhaps not a shortcut, but an actual way forward. And we can also go this way. Hmm. So many choices. There's a shortcut. Ooh, what is this? This is strange. What the hell? Whoa! Fractured Endurance. Defeat the Horde of Battle Droids. This is cool. Look at the background. Where are we? No idea, but I'm glad I got the double-bladed saber right now. <laughs> this is gonna come in handy for this swarm. Holy crap. Look at them go! We have to kill 150 of them. Shit, they overwhelmed me. Okay. Okay. We can definitely do that. We just gotta make sure we don't get uh, surrounded. They can be a, a bit more lethal than you'd think. I don't understand. It's an echo in the force, but somehow incomplete. Damaged. And that didn't fix it. All right, well, we'll try again after we get BD to scan this thing. The echo's still here. Let's do this again. 
This is a new feature as well. They didn't have anything like this in the first game. A little sort of challenge areas. Yeah, like, even though they're weak, they can still surround you very easily when there's this many of them. You gotta be careful. Way harder than it looks. We have to kill a hundred and fifty of them? Okay. Okay. I don't think that worked. Okay. New plan. I'll try not to move as much. I'm gonna try to stay in one place and let them come to me. Also, I, even though I'm destroying so many of them, I have to still block. Their voices are so cute. I feel bad slaughtering them. Good night, Tara. All right, I'm one third of the way down. We're at 60. Oh shit! Where did those- there's new ones now! Shit! Oh! Did you guys see that? There was bombs everywhere. Holy shit. Okay, we got way closer. We were at 113 out of 150. But that got hectic. Holy crap. We are reaching Roger Roger levels that we've never achieved. <laughs> hey, death. Death says B1 bullies, literally. Holy crap. I'm being ganged up on here. Especially at the end, that was insane. I was starting to get just the single combat ones down, but they came in with the bombs and the blasters. Whew. They do apparently blow each other up, which is good. So what? Once they get to the blaster bombs area, I just basically just need to like run around and avoid. Okay, we can totally do this. They're so cute! How can my enemies be so cute? It's... It's weird. Oh, I can't see! Camera clipped in one of their little shuttles there.
I've taken out so many. Holy crap, that's 52. Oh, the blaster. I was just about to heal and the blaster guys were here. They came out of nowhere. Ooh, we're at one on one deaths. That's kind of fun. I wonder what happened here. Does the saber toss leave you vulnerable for too long to be viable? I mean, let's give it a shot. Ah, uh, bye. That might be a good play, actually, TS. If we can just keep good positioning. I, I I think it might be a valid suggestion. I'm out of force now, so I can't use it anymore. I've got to accumulate through regular methods. Then we can do some more again. Ah, no, I like it. I like it, TS. This is a good suggestion. At 55, the blasters will start showing up. Okay. Noted. Oh, yeah. This is super effective. This is why I made TS a mod. Just brilliant ideas. Keep visual on your mom. <laughs> blasters and bombs are here. The issue with the blasters is not even the damage, it's that I can't heal myself. Oh shit. Okay. I like the lightsaber toss though, that was a good strat. So we'll do that, and then I've gotta make sure by the time blasters come around, I need to move more, I need to run, and then I also need to make sure my health is topped up. Stop getting destroyed, yelled 1B1 at the other B1. I can't see. Okay. Blasters should be here soon. Cannot see. Blasters are here. I do like how they uh, how they kill their allies. That's nice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. Oh, there's so many. Oh, my God. Oh. Did you see how many bombs come in there? I must just have to... Okay. How many deaths is on... I think we... this has been 10 deaths now in this little... Echo's still here. Worse echo area. Did it. It's it's taken a little bit, but that's genuinely a wave of suicide bombers. Yeah, it's hard to deal with. I'm gonna just have to try to force push them all back. You think Eleven's a lucky charm? I hope you're right. A 
Oh, no, I didn't mean to change lightsaber stances. I don't even know how that happened. Oh my god, I was so close! 135 out of 150, that gets so hectic! Holy crap, there's there's suicide bombers, there's regular bombs, there's blaster shots, there's droids. We're, we're improving, we we're 90% there that time. I got so far that I was able to use, as you probably saw, my slow down time thing. And that, that actually was super helpful, so hopefully we can get to that again. Can't see. I had literally no visible health there. One HP and a dream there, yep. It's a literal definition. hate this part. So many suicide bombers. Holy crap, it cleared the field, though! Did you see that? There was not a single one left! Time for this. Oh my god, at 15 again! <laughs> that 15 is the magic number. I cannot believe how crazy hectic that gets. It is just, there are 10 million things going on around you. We can do this. 90% of the way there, exactly.
The amount of blasters that I get thrown at you is the most unfair part. Yeah, because I literally can't heal because the blasters keep hitting me. It's it's really difficult. Blasters are here. Oh, fuck. Suicide bombers. Okay, there's improvement. Or seven, actually. We cut it halfway. We can do this, we can do this, we can do this. That wasn't it. <sighs> so close. It gets it gets just so hectic at the end. Like very, very hectic with the amount of blasters coming my way. Ninety-five percent there. I like this. Yes. That's right, 95%. We can do this. Right, Cal? Right, BD? I hate when those pods drop down and block my vision, also. That's just not helping. I cannot see. I have no idea where I am. That was- that was bullshit. I was like stuck behind one of the pods and got rammed by like all the suicide droids. Okay. Alright. Could we give up and come back to this at a different point? Absolutely. But I feel like right now I am in the zone and we can do this and it's gonna feel fucking glorious when we do. Thanks, Ice. Why is there sometimes a button prompt on the pods if you're near them when you when they drop? I'm pretty sure it's because I get behind the droids, so I technically can get a stealth kill on them. But I'm not sure how effective that- I've noticed it multiple times. I, I'm not sure how effective that would actually be because it's only going to take down one droid. And I don't want to get out of position to do it, if, if you know what I mean. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's what it is anyway. But maybe I should try it just to confirm. Maybe it'll do something cool, who knows. That's just my guess, so...
I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Alright. Blasters are here, which is the worst fucking part. Try to take them out. Ah, shit. Not sure at what point I switched from my double blade to my single blade, but that was my downfall there. I think I accidentally clicked the button when I was trying to heal at some point. I couldn't do it. What are we at now? 15 deaths? This is at about Yeti level at this point. This has been one of the more challenging encounters we've had to come across. It's a lot more fun than the Yeti, though. It, it actually is kind of fun. At the beginning, when you're just literally cutting through swaths of enemies, it is fun. It's at the end when it starts to get chaotic that the uh, the fun starts to wear off a little bit, but at least the beginning is fun. Mowing down scores of droids is a lot more satisfying than trying to fight a roided up drizzly. <laughs> yeah, I would have to agree. this to try to take out some of these fucking blaster droids. Ah, oh, shit. Well, that didn't work. That didn't work. How long am I going to keep you guys here tonight watching me fight the same battle? That's the real question. <laughs> how long can you guys last? It's not about how, how much I have in me to keep attempting. <laughs> Until it's done. Appreciate you, Tia's. I appreciate you. I always worry about that. Like, obviously, I want to overcome a, a tough challenge, but I also don't want to bore you guys. So it's like a, it's a delicate balance, you know. I've watched streamers attempt the same Elden Ring boss for multiple streams. This ain't nothing. <laughs> okay, well that makes me feel better. Oh, I'm stuck on the stupid pod! I almost want to die on this one and restart. I, I didn't like how that one unfolded. I feel like I used all my stims very early into the game. Alright. This is the one. Works. This is the one. Yeah, the fight would be a lot better if the pods weren't a thing. Not only do they block my vision, sometimes they collide with me. It's just all in all a bad time when it comes to these pods. See, like, look, that one just, like, fell on my head. 
Why can't they just drop from the sky or something? Like, they're droids. They don't need a car. Oh my god, I felt like that was a really good start, too. It's so easy for things to go downhill when you just get absolutely surrounded. It can happen to any of us at any time. Oddly enough, this whole setup with the pods and droids reminds me of a level in Ratchet and Clank 3. I mean, it's got that outer space robot thing. See it? One HP in a dream. Holy fuck. That is so many explosions. They are all dead. <laughs> blaster shot killed me that was oh my god didn't work. that was like a, a little bit of a glitch there i actually got my heel off even oh my god that's frustrating i shouldn't have died there literally scammed i feel robbed right now I had gr full green health and I still died in one hit. The game didn't register that I had just healed. Like it was, I know it was boom, boom, but should have counted. Man! Ugh. 
Getting so freaking close. Frustrating. The echo has all right. Faded. I'm going to try a couple more times, and then before I get too frustrated, perhaps we, we can always come back to the slider, because... Yeah, it's starting to piss me off now. It's gonna feel amazing when you beat this, I know. You're you're so right. It just gets so freaking chaotic. Like at the end, it's like, what am I even supposed to do here? There's like one million things coming at me. Thank you, TS. I appreciate the vote of confidence. It does help me uh continue moving forward here. Makes me feel like I'm not just beating my head against the wall. <laughs> What's happening is there's about 10,000 suicide droids just converging on me at once. Can you run through them while doing your block thing? Like just hold block and run? Looks like it's still here. Let's see. Let's see. Yeah, no, like, if I just run, when there's shots uh, firing on me, Cal will automatically start spinning his blade around. The thing is, is I don't have an unlimited block meter. Above the blue bar, you'll see a gray bar. That's my block meter. So once that runs out, everything gets through. And that, that ends up being my issue towards endgame. So it's like, I can, I can run around for a bit and block their bullets, but eventually they start getting through. Like, this is the part that's absolutely fucked. Did you see how many things just came at me? Like, that was insanity. We survived it, so that's good. heal if it was an instant heal it would be easier but there's a delay between when you heal because bd's got to flip the little thing cal's got to catch it and inject it and if you get interrupted during that sequence usually with the blaster bolt is my issue you don't heal so when you've got like 10 bolts coming at you it's like uh well when am i supposed to heal you don't you die cal <laughs> B 
Speedy is perfectly capable of administering an injection. He's just a dick. <laughs> I love you, BD, but please, could you just inject me, little dude? Yeah, this might be a... I feel like if I could come back with even one more stim or, like, one more little bit of HP or something, it would make all the difference here, so... I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do two more attempts, and then... We're gonna admit defeat and come back here when we're a little bit stronger. Would the gun help at all? I mean, that's true. Perhaps when they when they come through with guns, we could try to pick them off from afar. My main issue is just like, I just get completely surrounded. So I don't even know if I could take them out fast enough with the gun. Perhaps, like it might be worth a, worth a try. I got a, uh, a trophy for something. That's fun. Like, that was impossible. There was no way I could possibly move there in the corner with all those suicide droids. Alright, last attempt. Then I'm moving on with my life. The echo hasn't faded. I guess that didn't work. We've gotten to, what was our closest? 143 was our, our closest attempt. I love how they say, me, we might win with, like, almost incredulation in their voice. They're like, they can't even believe it. <laughs> You're right. Maybe I should try to stay in place more. At this point, I'm like, I don't even know what the best strategy is. Many there were that time. I know I said one more try, but that just felt unfair. That's that's not okay. I unbelievable. Unbelievable.
What do you think's even the reward for doing this? I bet it's gonna be like new pants for Cal. <laughs> Like, I, I actually haven't even thought about that till this very moment. What is even the reward for doing this? This is completely optional. It's not story content. So it's probably just going to be some sort of cosmetic. <laughs> it's going to be like the ugliest pair of pants you've ever seen for Cal or something. It's the American mullet. <laughs> I- that part is just fucking stupid. <laughs> You're going down. Ah, oh, bye! Hey, buddy! How are you? Welcome! Thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in, Raiders. I have been attempting this one little fight for the last... 30, 40 minutes? It's been insane. Uh, you have to come in here and you have to fight 150 droids at the same time. And I, and I can't lie, I was kind of losing hope. But now that Vi is here, we, we gotta do it for him, right? We gotta do it for you. Guys, if you aren't following Vi Bifu, change that immediately. Go check him out. Uh, Vi, I think you played this on stream. Am I correct in saying this? Yeah, I've been banging my head against the wall. I can get consistently get up to about 130. And then about 20 suicide droids come out and completely swallow me whole. And uh, it's been frustrating. But you know what? I have a renewed sense of vigor now that you're here. Thank you so much for the raid. I do appreciate it. I'm not sure what difficulty you played on, but we are playing on Jedi Grandmaster, which is making this, well, even more difficult. <laughs> But we're trying our best. It's been about 20 attempts at this point. Which is like, not the most. I've certainly attempted some Soulsborne bosses a few more times than that. But, you know. I was just saying then, what do you think the reward even is for this? It's probably something lame. Turkey, I love the droid voices. It's the only, like, positive of this whole experience is that we get to hear their adorable little droid voices. Although it does make me feel a little hesitant about slaughtering so many of them. <laughs> this is so insane. I cannot believe I'm still doing this. 20 deaths later, a half hour later, however you want to measure it, we've been here for a fucking while. Maybe it's the hesitation that's holding me back? I never know whether to be too aggressive, too passive. I'm like, I feel like I'm trying everything and it's not working. So it's like, at this point, what even is the strength? <laughs> you think I should be more aggressive, I guess? It's been so long, the sun went down and up here. <laughs> it has been a fucking while. That is for sure. I cannot deny how long we've been here slicing and dicing droids. I'm, I'd like to think that it, at least just the whole action of slicing and dicing droids is uh, entertaining. You think letting any of them get behind you seems to be your downfall. You're absolutely right. My, my down- well, there's- my downfalls are three- threefold. One is getting surrounded, two is having too many blasters, and three is getting just absolutely swarmed by suicide droids. But you're right. Maybe I should just try to stick to the- uh, the edges. Good night, Now you know how Anakin and Obi-Wan feel. They fought this battle over and over again for years in the Clone Wars. 
Touche. It's hard because it's like, is there even a spot on this map where they can't get behind me? Stuck, stuck, stuck. That was fuck. Did you see? I could not physically move, and about twenty explosions rocked me. Okay, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop this for now. I feel like I, I'm regressing. If anything, we'll come back here again later. It's marked on the map. It, we're probably just gonna get like a fucking trucker stash or something as a reward for that. So you know what? Let's. Let's move on. Let's not end the night by uh, just banging my head against the wall. Let's let's move forward, shall we? Yeah, literally. I think I'm gonna get a poncho or some like ugly cosmetic, and then I'm gonna be so frustrated. Nice work, buddy. Woo! All right, we did some good platforming. That makes me feel better about myself. Broken. We've been attacked. Watch you come back here after the final boss and find that challenge more difficult than them. <laughs> I mean, that was that was pretty wild. Always oh, this is perfect, actually. We just unlocked a shortcut, so in the future, when we do want to reattempt that challenge, we won't have far to go. We don't have any skill points. It was a good suggestion by Ice, but have to continue as is, and I'm just going to keep moving forward through the space station. Y'all probably forgot what we were doing here, and for anyone new coming in, we are currently on the moon of Kobo. There is an abandoned space science station here that uh, an old friend of ours was reportedly seen at. A while ago, we found a big Bacta tank with a 300-year-old Jedi inside. We let him out. What did he do? Immediately turned to the dark side and attacked us. So, we need more information about him, what he's doing, and what he knows, and, more importantly, what he knows about this secret Jedi temple on a secret Jedi planet we've been learning about. So, that's why we're here on this base. Um, it appears that our old friend is already here, because he has teamed up with raiders, and there are a bunch of raiders here as well. So, that's what Cal and BD are doing. We got a little distracted by a squadron of droids, but we're back. Now we're going to get to platforming. Honestly, it doesn't even matter that he killed me 13 times now. Because the droids killed me like 25 times. So 13 deaths to something feels like nothing, realistically. I'm not, I'm not feeling so bad about that anymore. Like the Yeti? Nah, it was nothing. Nothing compared to those fucking droids. Uh-oh. We can do this. Uh... How are we going to get past this? We hide on the side, I think. Hide here, Cal. Go. Ah, oh, crap. Oh, crap. Cal! Woo! Oh my god, one HP and a dream. Stim here. One HP and a dream! Still had some luck on my side, it seems. Phew. All right. Ready, BD? They really like the electricity here, don't they? Cal's using all his acrobatic skills. Woo! A little 
wall running. Holy crap, a lot of wall running, in fact. Whee! Yeah, this is a lot more fun. <laughs> I'm glad I decided to move on. You enjoy that, buddy? There's a lot of flips. Hey, little buddy. What'd you think? these guys. Sorry, man. Happy to help. What do we got here? What a haunted old ruin. But if the boss says there's something here, who am I to question it? I mean, to be fair, we haven't seen any ghosts yet. All I've seen is raiders and droids. So I don't know how much stock I put into this whole haunted space station thing. That's the second time the subtitles have made a then-then error? Oh, really? Interesting. I have noticed. Y'all are feeling extra confident since you got this barrier, huh? I'll be in there in a sec. See how confident you really are. Ground Pulse. New music track unlocked. See, that's the type of shit they're probably going to give me as a reward when I beat that awful little encounter. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, I like music as much as much as the next gal, but like, oh, Jesus. Um, great, I think we're in the literal sewers. I bet it smells absolutely fantastic down here. Um, what is this little droid? Oh, fun! Crap people! Crap people! <laughs> no, Cal, I need you to... Yeah. Right, not what I wanted. I see what I need to do. I just need to hang on to this droid. I'm gonna come over here. I'm gonna do a swing, swing, swing. Okay. Or fall through the wall, that's fine too. Also another valid strategy. God, I have not been having much luck here tonight, have I? <laughs> Good lord. All right, let's wait for it to fully ascend. Now I will jump. Beautiful, what do we got? Give me the loot! Force Essence, nice. See, that's good loot. Cal must have been really good on, on the monkey bars as a kid. God, when was the last time I was on a set of monkey bars? Must have been, I don't know. When I was a kid, I guess. I don't know if I could still do it. I don't think I have the upper body strength required anymore. I'm sure Z can decrypt this for us. Hmm. 
Okay, I think this whole area was just for loot, but we can come this way. Make sure the way is sealed. Nobody gets through. <laughs> Remember when I said the guy was feeling awfully confident behind that barrier? They didn't have a barrier up top. Sucks to suck! Numbers reduced. Oh, fuck. Well, at least I took down the guy that was taunting me. I feel- I feel okay in that. At least we got some sort of revenge before we got absolutely blown up. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, oh shit, we don't need to go all through this again, but no, we unlocked a shortcut! We love shortcuts around here. Whee! Wahoo! And then we locked another shortcut. Yeah! Alright. I'm using force push on that, but it's not working. I'm not sure if I'm just not timing it right. There we go. I timed it right that time. Ah, revenge is sweet, especially when you cut people in half. Sounds like they're defending something important up ahead. Sounds like it. Let's figure out what, shall we? Oops. Didn't time that correctly. Do 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 jump! Do 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 activate! Nice! Another shortcut. Back to back to back shortcuts. I love that for us. You cannot enter the laboratory. Why? They're not supposed to. You okay? They're not allowed to enter. Proceeding as any Jedi with military precision, but be cautious. I'll open fire as soon as I see him. Filled with blaster holes. He won't get past me. I suppose that counts as lethal military precision. Hi! Good try, guys. Work on that lethal military precision in the next life, will ya? Now, yeah, we've got some mega platforming to do. Great. This should be fun, I'm sure. Show this to Z. Whew! Alright. Wasn't too bad. Well, they have proven we won't get past 150 of them. <laughs> True. Freshened up Muffy's blanket? Nice. Could you do me a favor? Could you, could you get me a little bit of water? Thank you. Sure. Target is approaching high value location. Initiate defense. He will not pass. We have to fight multiple of these dudes now? Oh god. Okay, remember we had just had to fight one of those earlier and it was considered a mini boss? Now we have to fight three and it's just considered regular enemies. I know they're slightly different, but similar idea. And this is why they gave us so many shortcuts in a row, because they knew people were gonna die and be like, oh man, thank you. Yeah, would you mind? Could I leave the door open for a bit? Perfect.
man, I love that. Just shortcut after shortcut after sh Oh no, we didn't get a shortcut to get past this? Oh, that's annoying. I didn't realize that. We still gotta do this platforming. Here I thought it would be smooth sailing. Well, that's unforge. Ah, shit. This time it up. They did better in their next life! You're right! Just like I told them they would. See, droids. I'm sure I'm not missing a shortcut here. I'm not, no. I'm supposed to just not die to these droids up ahead. Got it. I'm back. Yeah, no, these are not nearly to the caliber of that one we fought earlier, but... Still putting up a fight. Stop your resistance. There we go. Whatever's ahead, you really don't want us getting to it. There we go. Whatever happened tore this moon apart. Yeah. What you got there, buddy? Nice job, BD. Destroyed wall. The calamity that struck Kobo also ripped its moon apart. Racked by quakes and subsidence, sections of the facility were torn from their foundation and strewn about the interstellar flotsam. Yeah, so we saw that in the memories, that, like, this crazy storm hit Kobo a long time ago. So I guess that's also what happened to the moon. Uh-oh. Oops. <laughs> that didn't go so well. The boss level one you fought was an enhanced version of those. Yeah, I think you're right, for sure. Alright, got rid of them. Oh. Oh. We're doing this! Lightning and bolts! I got you. Jay Lids, thank you for the follow. Uh oh. Whoa. R2D2, thank you for the follow. Boop boop. Welcome to the stream, everybody. We are here on Kobo's Moon, trying to figure out what's here that the Bedlam Raiders are so interested in, because if they're interested in it, well, so am I. There's been lots of resistance so far. I can't, I can't tell where the steam comes out of. Right there. Oh, I see the little things on the walls now. I see, I see. Hey, Jay Lids, thank you for the raid, my friend. Welcome on in, appreciate it. Hope you had a great stream this evening. Holy crap. You were also playing Jedi Survivor. Amazing, I hope you had a fantastic stream. I love that emote. Wow, that's fantastic. There we go. Got it. Those poor guys. Left the droids outside to deal with me, and the droids, well, they didn't last very long. <laughs> okay, that's a big door, I'm presuming. Uh, can we get through it, BD? Heavy duty. Don't think I can move it. Okay. Guess we'll need to find another way around. This meditation spot should do. Have a quick rest. I need to focus. Ooh. 
Thank God for that hook shot, hey? Superstructure fabricators. New shortcut unlocked. Love it, love it, love it. This place is literally huge. And I still don't totally know what it was for. Forge droids. Left alone here for centuries. Until the raiders came. Shrinkage is broken. Useless. Poor droids. I'm just getting wrecked. This chamber seems very suspicious. It can't just be me, right? Like, this looks like a boss fight area right here. I'm getting suspicious vibes. Lock tight. Or maybe I'm just paranoid, who knows? Cordova will want to see this. Cal recovers a mysterious High Republic device. I knew it! I freaking knew it! Okay, he can go invisible. Good to know. Who is this guy? He has a lightsaber, but he does not look like a Jedi. Dry a thorn. Is he just a dude who found a lightsaber? Jesus, he's got some fancy gun moves. I can't believe I called this being a boss fight chamber, by the way. BD. So you're, you're admitting that you're a fake Jedi. I don't know where this guy went. There he is. I do like the invisible thing, dude. I'll give it to you. That's, that's actually rather cool. BD, I need help. him. He didn't feel too hard. It's just always hard finding a, a boss for the very first time because you literally have no idea what they're going to throw at you. So at least now we know. And we'll go give him another shot. So I guess that thing we picked up is what we came here to find. That's some sort of I don't know if it has data on it or tech, but it's something that I guess Cordova's gonna be interested in. Great start. Can Cal not dodge blaster shots? 
Okay, I assumed the auto dodge stance and he got hit by every single blaster shot, so I guess not. The more you know, I, I literally didn't know that. I just assumed it dodged everything. Good to know, I guess. really cool like i literally can't tell what his deal is he's got an invisible ability he's got bombs he's got blasters he's got a lightsaber no idea who this dude is but he's he's pretty cool i'll give it to him oh shit was a better attempt. Not quite there, but almost. We I think we'll get him down. This will be a nice way to cap off the stream tonight after we were most certainly not successful against 150 B1 droids. We can be successful against whoever this dude is. And it'll allow me to sleep soundly tonight. I feel like that's a good good ability to use when he goes into his invisible. Also getting lots of just little chunks of his health through the reflecting of his of his bullets. Like he's half health now already, just from all that reflecting. Delayed. Tried to parry it, but had a weird parry timing to it. He also really likes throwing bombs that I just push right back into his face. Literally, I think the best way to fight this guy is to actually not be too aggressive. Just stand back, block, reflect. Now that I know we can do this as well during his invisible attack. Oh shit. That was a longer combo than I expected. I could have stayed in, in my dodge, but I got out too early. You'd think he'd learn by now to stop tossing those out. <laughs> Every time is just a free hit. Hey, we're happy that he doesn't learn, right? Yeah, I've got him. Got him. Oh yeah, we got him. <laughs> Holy crap. Now, where did you get this lightsaber? That's the real question. Salvage it. Am I 
gonna get a lightsaber upgrade? BD looks excited. Look at him. He's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. Whoa, cool. Now we've got like a cross hilt. That's freaking cool. Oh my god, it looks like an actual sword. It's another new stance, actually, the crossguard stance. The crossguard stance is capable of slower and more powerful attacks and has increased stamina for defense. This actually seems like it'll be good for boss fights. Better catch up. Awesome. Okay. What do we got here? I'll go. I'm the best pilot for this mission, and you know it. Every ship we've sent into the Abyss has vanished without a trace. We'll go together. I cannot let you take the risk alone. This is your invention. No one else understands it. You're the only one who can guide me back. All right. I'll record the passage and make sure you return to us. Green Dagon. Interesting. Dagon and Centauri's dream of Tantalor requires an almost impossible task to navigate the lethal Kobo Abyss unaided in order to record the safe passage for others. Dagon vol volunteers to be that pilot. Do what you gotta do, buddy. So he was the first one who actually navigated the Abyss. Oh yeah, it's slow but powerful. And if you're good at parries, oh my god, that was freaking cool. And the lightsaber looks so sick. Yeah, you're right. Increased stamina for defense, wide swings. This might be just what we need to to take out 150B1 droids. I think you're right. Won't open from this side. All right, speaking of taking things out, we took down the boss there, got ourselves a new lightsaber stance, and I think I would like to end tonight's stream on a bit of a high note. So thank you all so much for watching tonight's stream. I apologize for the 30 minutes slash 30 death montage of me versus 150 droids, but hey, I do think this new ability as you guys mentioned, might be just the thing we need to kind of push us over the top. So thank you all for watching. I really hope you enjoyed tonight's stream. I can't wait to play some more. I'm absolutely loving this game so far. Um, we will be back on Thursday for some more Jedi Survivors. So if you guys like what you saw tonight, hopefully I'll see you guys back here on Thursday. We normally aim to start around 6 p.m. Mountain, which is 8 p.m. Eastern Time. In the meantime, here are the socials. If you're looking for something to watch while I'm offline, head to the YouTube channel. You can check out uh, not only the VODs of all the streams, but also some Let's Play series that I do over there. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thank you all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. I had a fantastic time tonight, as I always do. So I hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Also, uh, enjoy your Wednesday tomorrow. Happy hump day in advance. See you guys on Thursday for some more Jedi Survivor. And in the meantime, I'm going to send y'all on a little raid. My good friend, the Power Hour, who was actually in chat a little while ago, is uh, playing Baldur's Gate 2 tonight. He is uh, an occasional streamer and a, and a good friend of mine. So head on over and say hello to Power. Enjoy some Baldur's Gate 2. And uh, have a great night, everybody. <laughs>